You're really quiet at this part. Ooh. <laughs> New home. In case it wasn't clear, Toriel is the former queen. That's why this house is identical to Toriel's, because Asgore built an exact duplicate of his previous home. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. It's a golden flower. It's a golden flower. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. The coals are still warm. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. There's one key. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Thank you, Alfies. The stovetop is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Could, uh, didn't remember Toriel's recipe. It's a note. Howdy, help yourself to anything you want. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. It's a golden flower. Oh! There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Take it. You got the heart-shaped locket. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Take it. Okay, so these were these were Chara's items. That's the King and Queen's previous adopted son. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. It's a drawing of a golden flower. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. Dusty toys. <clears throat> Room under renovations. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. It's a golden flower. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is, nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a trophy. Number one, nose nuzzle champs, 98. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes and button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. Aww. It's a king-sized bed. Despite everything, it's still you. Unlock the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of 21X, a date circled on it. Then, 
one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, human died. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier, carried the human's body to the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Ominous. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, and together, we will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP earned. What is EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted of others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your LOVE increases. LOVE2 is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt, the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any L-O-V-E. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive, just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. 
no matter the struggles or hardships you faced, strived to do the right thing, refused to hurt anyone, even when you ran away, you did it with a smile, never gained L-O-V-E, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright? We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Freaking Sands and his weird teleporting powers. Throne room. Oh. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Blue. It's empty. Ah, they, they are expecting me. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. All right. I don't really have enough gold to buy any recovery items unless I want to go back to Temi Village and start selling stuff, and I don't want to go all the way back there. There's another throne covered by a white sheet. Yeah, this one was Toriel's because uh, she left... For obvious reasons. Here we go. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Yeah, that's not helpful. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Ready. 
I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. And he destroyed the mercy button. He destroyed the mercy button. Oh no. You know, I should have probably kept the worn dagger. It, it just. I should have kept it. Why didn't I sell the shoes and keep the knife? I forgot I had to fight him.
There we go. We, we got him. Uh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But... I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Mercy. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... like a family. Blue. You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's kill or be killed. Wait, it actually crashed? <laughs> 